Hello and welcome back to Skyrim. And uh, we're going to continue on our main quest here. Which is to acquire 15 Daedric artifacts. I've got 10 right now. And today we're going to go to Dawnstar and acquire another one. We got one from Dawnstar. But we're going to get another one today. And, um, actually, I leveled up. I've got one perk. Oh, I need two perks. I want to get... Uh, and heavy armor. Half damage from falling. I want this one. Heavy armor weighs nothing. I need one more perk from that. I'll get that soon. All right, uh, there's the kid running around. Where's her pot? Oof, I'm worn out. No kidding, all you do is run around. But uh, usually he has his pot. I don't know where his pot went. So I gotta find some guy named well, no. Arendor. It's a curse. It has to be. You look oh, worse than I feel. Oh, that's him. Get a hold of yourself. They're just dreams. Please tell her, Erandur. Listen to your friend, Fuki. They are just dreams, my dear. I assure you that it is quite normal. Totally normal. It's the same dream over and over again. You think that's normal? It's evil, I tell you. Erandur, she has a point. You keep telling us no harm will follow these dreams, but they must be an omen. Give him a chance to speak. He's trying to help us. Everyone, please. I'm doing what I can to end these nightmares. In the meantime, all I ask is you remain strong and put your trust in Lady Mara. I, I will. Thank you. Make I it work quick. in the mine just like everyone else. What troubles you, my son? What's that about dreams? Yes, sir. The entire town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in serious danger, but I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. What could you do anyway? Dreams aren't real. These Dumbass. Dreams are manifestations created by the Daedric Lord, Vermina. She has an awful hunger. Daedric Lords aren't her. real. In return, she leaves behind nightmares. Not unlike a cough marks a serious illness. I don't need metaphors. Must her terrible influence over these people before the damage becomes permanent. Okay, what's your plan? I need to return to the source of the problem, to Nightcaller Temple. Perhaps you'd be willing to assist me in that regard. Sure. What do you mean return? You've been there? I've already said too much. If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. I would simply ask that you trust me and help me end Dawnstar's nightmares. Okay. I trust you completely. Well, my Lady Mara will be quite pleased. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. Who is the Daedric Lord Vermina? Vermina resides in a strange realm known as Quagmire, a nightmarish land where reality shifts upon itself in seemingly impossible ways. Seems legit. From her citadel at the center, she reaches forth to collect our memories, leaving nothing in return apart from visions of horror and despair. All right. What does she do with the memories? Who can say? Perhaps she collects them for display like works of art in a nonsensical art gallery. Whatever the case may be, her intentions are far from benevolent. Living out other people's uh, memories? Follow me. I saw a movie about that. Can I? Yes, my son. Uh, I wanted to steal his mace. All right, let's follow him. Are you feeling all right, dear? You look a little ill. I look ill. How come I always look ill? Every single time. I always cure my disease, and then at the start of every episode, I'm sick again. I'm no one special. Just a miner who swings a pickaxe for his drinking money. No one cares. Follow. 
Did that heal my affliction? I guess it did. Alright, we'll see if we get um, diseased again. I must be really pr prone to getting uh, diseases. It feels good to finally have a chance to help these people. Uh huh. Mostly watching them suffer has been difficult. I think there's a tower. I think yeah, I think it's up there. The tower on that hill is our destination. People around here call it the Tower of the Dawn. Tower of the Dawn. Tower's history, but it was deserted for quite a long time before Nightcaller Temple was established inside. When the temple was active, the priests would rarely be seen in Dawnstar. They preferred to live a solitary existence. The temple had been abandoned for decades now. Ironic, isn't it? A ruin within a ruin. There's a small shrine to Mara I established inside the tower's entry hall. I was hoping to seek spiritual guidance from her. There it is. Yeah, it's not in great shape. This snow looks, uh... Like it's completely frozen over. Like it's iced. Doesn't look like, um... Thick, fluffy snow. Looks dangerous. Feel like I'm gonna slip off and... Crack my skull. And no footprints? I'm disappointed. Skyrim. 2011, you should have had footprints. Looks like the trolls have taken over. Come on, I killed two of them. You can't even kill one. Nightcaller Temple. All right. Before we enter, I must what? warn you about the dangers that could be lurking within. Years ago, this temple was raided by an orc war party seeking revenge. They were being plagued by nightmares just like the people of Dawnstar. Okay. Were they successful? No. Knowing they could never defeat the orcs, the priests of Vermina released what they called the Miasma, putting everyone to sleep. Why is it dangerous if they're asleep? I'm concerned that when this place is unsealed, the Miasma will dissipate and they'll awaken, both orcs and priests alike. All right, what does the Miasma do? The Miasma was created by the priests of Vermina for their rituals. It's a gas that places the affected in a deep sleep. Because the rituals would last for months or even years, the Miasma was designed to slow down the aging process. Is it dangerous? Sadly, yes. The longer an individual is exposed to the Miasma, the more the mind can become damaged. Those who've been under the effect of it for extended periods of time have been known to lose their minds entirely. In some cases, a few never awoke at all. I'm sure we'll be fine. Once we get inside... How about you, Vorstag? I think he's gonna wait out here. Alright, let's go in. What the... What? Okay, am I done following you? Now are you gonna follow me? Okay, do your thing. Open up the door. Hey, what do we got here?
It's an illusion. Now I can show you the source of the nightmares. Over here. Is it that thumping sound? That would give me nightmares too. Source of Dawnstar's woes. If I had to sleep in here. Reach the inner sanctum and destroy it. Come, there's no time to lose. All right. This, uh... Oh, the orcs are still alive. Some of them are. So this, um... Purple mist is, uh, the miasma, I take it. It seemed to dissipate, though. How do we get past here? Damn it! The priests must have activated this barrier when the miasma was released. Looks uh, difficult to breach. Impossible, actually. Can't we just like I wonder. There may be a way to bypass the barrier, but I dig a hole around, dig a path around it. it can be done. Seem to know an awful lot about this place. I suppose there's no point in concealing the truth any longer. My knowledge of this temple comes from personal experience. I was a priest of Vermina. You don't say. Why keep it a secret? When the orcs invaded the temple, I fled. I left my brothers and sisters here to die. Smart. I've spent the last few decades living in regret and seeking redemption for Mara. And by her benevolence, I will right my wrongs. All right, I'm ready. I still have my key to the library. Whenever you're ready, let's move on. My body is ready. How can the skull be affecting Dawnstar? Or holds that the skull of corruption holds a constant hunger for the memories of others. The skull has been out of touch for so long. I fear it's gained the ability to reach out on its own and try to feed. What it does with these memories is just conjecture, and an argument for scholars and historians to this very day. Huh, okay. We mustn't tarry. The skull needs to be destroyed as soon as possible. Wonder what would happen if you took all these memories and, uh, I don't know, implanted them. Just implanted a set of random memories, uh, disconnected memories, in some person. Would that drive them mad? It's just up here. Be careful. Yeah, what Certainly would that do to someone? All right. It's not what's going on here. I'm just uh, thinking out loud. You could go faster, you know. What lady Mara? No! Nice robes. Varieties of Daedra. Might be a fun book to read. I'm sure I've read it. I mean, I've read all of the books, but obviously I don't uh, remember them all. Where are we going? This library used to be filled with arcane volumes. Now look at it. Almost everything's been burned. I hope the tome we need is... Yeah, it's sad. Fey Falcon. I'll take that. Someone there? Hey, I'm here to help. Nice job. Barring any more interruptions, perhaps we can locate the information I need. What am I looking for? We're looking for a book of alchemical recipes called 
the Dreamstride. The tome bears the likeness of Vermina on the cover. It should be here somewhere. How would I know what Vermina looks like? If you'll check the shelves around the balcony, I'll check around the lower level. Alright, I'll have a look. An expert level chest. Well, I gotta open it. Garbage. All right, the balcony, you say. Firmament. There it is, it's showing me where it is. The big blue book. Mine. Yes, my son. Found it. Let me take a look. I'm not your son. Mara be praised. There is a way past the barrier to the inner sanctum. It involves a recipe for a liquid known as Vermina's torpor. Is that some type of potion? Yes. The torpor grants an ability the priests of Vermina called the Dream Stride, using dreams to travel distances in the real world. The <laughs> That's amazing. Quite amazing, yes. Alchemy and the blessings of a divine distilled down into a ingestible liquid. Great. Sadly, I have yet to see it function in person. More mysterious liquid for me to gulp down. Uh, I'm going to be your test subject, aren't I? Uh, as a sworn priest of Mara, the elixir won't work for me. Of course. The torpor will only work for priests of Vermina. Or the unaffiliated. Right, how convenient. Do you know where we can find the torpor? I believe there is a laboratory in the East Wing. If we proceed there, we should be able to locate a sample. What will the Dream Stride feel You'll like? You'll be viewing the memory of another through your own eyes and with your own body. Those around Hot. you will perceive you as normal. And you will find the words you utter may not be your own. Thanks to all of these odd principles, there is quite a lot of debate as to whether this is really a dream or just the machinations of Vermina. How will I know when to awaken? I will watch over you as you slumber to ensure your safety. If I deduce anything is amiss, I will use my arts to bring you back. Otherwise, I am uncertain what will end your dream stride. Perhaps when Vermina's curious appetite has been filled. The laboratory All right. adjoins the library. I'm hoping we'll find a sample of the torpor left undamaged. Through the mist. Oh, don't get up. Sorry about that. Oh, I nearly killed him. I'm trying to help, buddy. Ooh, I'll take that. Daedra Heart, mine. Another Daedra Heart. Well, if you need Daedra Hearts... There's two of them here. You still alive? Seriously? My companion is completely useless. Get off your butt and do something. Now that they've been dealt with, we need to find the torpor. How will I know what it looks like? It should be in a small bottle, 
Very similar to a potion. Thank you, that is helpful. I'll begin searching up here. There's bottles everywhere. There's one there. The torpor should be in a there. bottle. Bottles all over the floor. If you find it, uh, dark right liquid, there. got it. I don't need a description. I've got quest markers. Alright. Ooh. Void salts. I'll take that. Alright, I found it. Yes, my son. I'm relieved you discovered a bottle intact. This place looks as though it was ransacked by the orcs. So, I've taken us this far, but you need to guard us the rest of the way. Drake. Great. Here, now? Dawn Star's fate rests in that tiny bottle. The longer we wait, the more damage Vermina could be doing to those poor people. I understand your hesitation, but I promise you that it works. That's okay. Good. We still have much to do. King of Worms. All right, let's drink it. We're gonna get a new body. Uh, is it in potions? Yep. Enter the dream stride for an unknown length of time. Looks like a healing potion. Let's try it. Let's hope we get a... The orcs have breached the inner sanctum, brother. The body of a strapping young we lad. With an eight pack. Eight pack abs. But no more than a handful of us remain, brother. Then we have no choice. The miasma must be released. The miasma? But brother... No, you can't. have no alternative. It's the will of Vermina. And what about you, Brother Casimir? Are you prepared to serve the will of Vermina? I've made my peace. I'm ready. Then it's decided. Brother Casimir, you must activate the barrier and release the miasma. Let nothing stop you. Brother Thorin, we must remain here and guard this skull with our lives if necessary. Agreed to the death. Then let it be done. Farewell, my brothers. Alright, I can't do combat. Oh man, I want to look at my... My body. Can I exit here? Oh, that's the staff. Okay. Staff of Corruption, or Skull of Corruption. Um, hello. Sorry. Uh, do I have a body? I gotta check. Oh, I don't. Alright, yeah, I can't interact with anything. So, I didn't catch this the first time. Uh, but they give you a lot of hints, and um, Rick Clark pointed this out on um, on the video on my previous playthrough where I did this quest. But uh, the memory I'm playing as right now is uh, Erendor. Or what was his name? Erendor's? The guy I came here with. He called me... They called me something different. Kelsimer... I don't know. I, I'm terrible with names. But uh, it is a render. Get him. Here we go. Releasing the miasma. Nappy nap time. Oh, I better... Do a hard save here. 
Hi. I made it to the other side. Okay. Now I gotta disable the barrier so he can get through. Should have stayed down. Yeah, the miasma just kind of dissipates when I enter the area. Hi. How did you get here? Yes, my son. What is it? Okay, whoops. I forgot to actually uh, <laughs> disable this. Take that. Yeah, so I don't know how a renderer <laughs> got there uh, to the end there. Um, I guess once I got that far, he just sort of teleported. The game just sort of assumed I would have uh, disabled the barrier. I thought I, I clicked it and nothing happened, so I kept going. Oh, well. Hi. It worked. Mara be praised. Yeah, it seems like vanished after drinking the torpor and materialized. Seems like you got side. to the other side without me Never disabling the barrier though. Like it. it was remarkable. How I envy you. I can only imagine the excitement of seeing history through the eyes of another. It was weird. Sadly, I am resigned to just reading of its wonders through my research. I was an stuff. elf. I had uh, dark blue skin. It was a weird experience. I was so skinny. Uh, we can discuss it later. We need to proceed. Indeed. My reverence for Vermina's machinations. I had a goatee and red eyes. Mission. My apologies. The inner sanctum lies ahead. We must reach the skull and put an end to Dawnstar's troubles. Lead on, my friend. All right. We must get to the skull and destroy it. Now we get to the staff. Erendor. Uh, I'm stuck. I can't move. I gotta wait for a render. Yeah, take your time. No hurry. Just... There we go. Ver, Thoric, you're alive. No thanks to you, Casimir. I no longer use that name. I'm a rander. Priest of Mara. Yeah, they just said it right there. You're a traitor. He's Casimir. You left us to die and then ran before the miasma took you. I don't know no, why I, I didn't I, pick I up on scared. that. I wasn't ready to sleep. The first time. Like I said, I am terrible with names, I remembering names. I think I just skull, forgot he was Casimir. Then you leave me no choice. Oh, that I was playing as Casimir well, before. On, oh boy. Oh god. Ow. Oh. See that? I decapitated your friend. How does that make I you feel? New Varen and Thoric. They were my friends. Is this punishment for my past? Is it Mara's will to torment me so? Uh, we had no choice. Yes, you're right. If they needed to die so that Dawnstar could live, then it was worth the price. Also, it was it's fun. Time. The skull must be destroyed. If you'll stand back, Don't discount that. I'll perform the ritual granted to me by Lady Mara. 
first. An incantation to remove the barrier. That's creepy looking. I call upon you, Lady Mara. The skull hungers. It yearns for memories and leaves nightmares in its wake. Grant me the power to break through this barrier and to send the skull to the depths of oblivion. He's deceiving you. When the ritual's complete, the skull will be free, and then Arinder will turn on you. Quickly, kill him now. Kill him and claim the skull for your own. Vermina commands you. The nice lady said I have to kill you. Can I pickpocket you? Hmm. Yeah, you don't have anything. Oh. Brutal. Why do you have eight torches? What are you doing with all these torches? Where do you keep them? That's like, uh... That, that would make a good hood ornament. Well, it's mine now. It's like a, like a hood ornament from, uh... Mad Max, Fury Road. Well... Zoom in. There we go. I got it. The Skull of Corruption. That is Daedric Artifact number 11. Skull of Corruption. Damage 3. 20 points damage. Increased to 50 if powered with dreams collected from sleeping people. Well. We can try it out. Oh, that's a nice little effect there. Let's give it a try. Um, are you asleep? Okay, you are dead. I don't think I'm gonna find any sleeping people in here. What's the easiest way out? Wait, was there a... No, that... Okay, no, no. Can't get out that way. Alright, so... Yeah, this is one of the Daedric artifacts that I did not get on my previous playthrough. So I wasn't able to complete the Oblivion Walker achievement because of it. Um, in order to get this staff, you have to kill Arendor. And I did not do that on my previous playthrough, which kind of locked me out of getting the achievement. Can't activate that again. Huh? Hey, Vorstag, how you doing? Good to see you again. Uh, Arendor, he's, uh, he'll be following us shortly. Don't worry about him. Uh, hold on. Okay. Yeah, let's, um, what time is it? 7 a.m.? I want to test this. I've never used this staff before. So we're going to charge it up with a sleeping person. Practically speaking, it's probably not a very useful weapon. Um, <laughs> yeah, the damage is pathetic, and... Just the fact that you have to charge it... With, uh, sleeping people is... To get some decent damage from it is, um... Kind of... Kills its, uh, usability. Uh, one more hour. Alright. It's almost midnight. Who's asleep? Uh, 
Okay, they locked their door. That means they're probably sleeping one more hour. Gonna steal your dreams. You're not supposed to be in here. You're not supposed to be in here. Cannot best you. I made a mistake. I moved. My sneaking skill is pathetic. I think it worked though. Until he got up. After he got up when I you're Get not him. supposed to be here. Oh. Okay, sorry. Huh? You're not supposed to be in here. Now, does that extra damage show up on the staff itself? Um... Increase to 50 if powered with dreams from sleeping people. Oh, you got a bit of pride. Get out of here. Shut up. Cannot best you. Oh, my God. One thousand bounty added, but no witnesses. Well, um... Oh. oh, they're mad at me. Alright, well... That's... Oh, jeez. We're, uh... Taking over the town here. Well, that is, uh, Daedric Artifact number 11. The Skull of Corruption. Nice job. That new axe is uh, working wonders. Get him. Oh yeah, that does good damage. Or uh, is that a sword? Yeah, that's a dark sword. Okay. Daedric artifact number 11. Four more to go. 